what's up guys i'm going to start a new series because view 2.0 has been released and uh, laravel also came up with its new version 5.3 which has a lot of new things i think it's right time that we start looking at the new things and uh, basically the idea is to build a Vue.js application a standalone Vue.js application using Vue CLI and have our Laravel application work as a um, API uh, service only so you know our Laravel application will not do any front-end stuff it will just work on the APIs and we will use Vue to do all the front-end stuff so it's a client and server application so start off we'll need to create a new project so let me go into my documents code and i'll name it let's say labs okay um so view cli webpack so this is the template so let us install I'll fire this command and um, okay sorry cd labs and I'll paste this client underscore labs okay this is going to be our project name and just hit enter it should download things okay this will install view 2.x version so that's correct we wanted this to happen project name we can keep it for now Vue.js project author uh, I think it's um, I will not use the runtime only lighter build I will use the standalone heavier because it includes the template parser to allow templates and HTML files so I'm going to use that and I'll use ESLint with, with the standard one and think I'll be doing that and e2e testings I won't be doing that so yeah uh, client npm install it should bring down all the dependencies so once it's done I'll come back or rather uh, let's do one thing so we are inside client underscore labs in this I'll also start installing composer create project laravel Laravel server underscore labs so I'll create this installation as well so both are running once they are done I'll uh, come back okay so both the installations are complete yeah this is the node instance so for running view we can do npm run dev this should boot the application all right in the console everything is working and inside laravel php artisan serve and my application should be working now the first thing which you know we would like to do is make sure that the Vue.js application can connect and communicate with the Laravel application. Okay, to do that, I will make a HTTP call from our Vue.js application. Okay, so we know that to make any HTTP call, we will require npm install view resource and we will save it by the time i'll open up sublime mm, so this is the client code and i'll open another instance the server code okay so both are here i have view resource so package.json yes now quickly in our main dot js so the, if you are not aware of the view cli project everything we need to look 
into is inside source. So main.js is the uh, the main file. So import view resource from. Okay, this is done. Uh, we need to tell view to use view resource. Okay, and that should be uh, enough. Now we are using the app. So let me come here inside my script created okay and in this i will do this dot dollar http dot post let's say our url will be http localhost 8000 slash now any in laravel 5.3 uh, there are some changes. We have an api.php and we have a web.php. The basic idea is all our web related routes will be defined here in web.php and all our routes for API will be defined here. Now, let me do this. Let's make a get request. It's a test. Okay, function. Um, I'll return a response which is an array 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, let's quickly check if this is working. So, API slash test. All right, so we have the JSON uh, response when we hit the URL. Fair enough, but do we have the same behavior? when we do it through Vue.js so let's do console.log response and yeah save okay so uh, by the way view if you're not used to view CLI has a lint and it's very strict uh, so you have to follow some of the uh, rules for example I can't do this I need to have a space I can't use any I, I can't keep any unused variables in a way it is good you know it kinds of uh, keeps the code uh, very similar for all the developers uh, so in a team it's a must-have but anyways so now you can see there is a problem response to pre-flight request doesn't pass access control check now this is something which we called the CORS issue. Cross origin resource um, requests are you know blocked by default. We are on localhost port 8080 and this is localhost port 80 sorry 8000. So they are of different domains and hence Laravel is not allowing us to by default access anything. Okay, but we can securely do that. How? So the first step is we need to create a middleware inside our Laravel um, project which will allow this. Okay, so this is my server. I'll come here, PHP artisan make middleware course. All right. Um, so my middleware will be inside HTTP middleware course. Fine. In here, the basic idea is we have to set a few headers. Okay, first one being access control allow origin, and the second is access control allow headers, where we can pass content type, authorization tokens, and a few things. So for that, first we will create an array. Okay, we will say dollar domains equals an array in which first we will add localhost 8080 so what the, the reason to have this array is basically we are going to check that if the request is coming from a domain which is listed in our domains array then we will allow for you know uh, to go move ahead you know give give the user the data which he is requesting otherwise give him the course error Okay, so in that first we check, we check an is set whether the dollar request server has a key 
called HTTP origin. Okay, HTTP origin. Uh, let's see. Oh, fine. So if it is is set, then dollar origin is equal to request server. Okay. So this is the origin, and then we will do the in array check. If in array dollar origin in our domains array okay then first add a header in this it will be access dash control dash allow origin okay and it should have a colon dollar origin so basically we are doing a concatenation access control allow origin colon and then the um, the um, url and also um, access control allow headers you know this is another headers and then we will have the colon and origin comma content type t should be capital and authorization i don't need the origin okay so what are we doing just a quick recap if we find that the request has a server which is HTTP origin. If it is set, then we come here. We take the origin and we check if the origin is inside our domain array. If it is, um, then we add this access allow origin and we add this as well. I think this should be inside it. Okay, let me just quickly check. Anyways, so we have the course uh, middleware ready, but you know we need to register this okay so i come over here and we need to make sure that it is running on every request so what i need to do is app http middleware course class okay so this is done and yeah we have this domain and now let's quickly check if our request is working it says method not allowed why uh, it's a get there's no problem in that and here also okay so i'm doing a post that's the reason okay. so now when i refresh you can see i'm getting the data right basically if i if I remove the course middleware and hit refresh, I get the course issue. And if I uncomment it, save and hit refresh, I get the data. So basically, you know, this is how any front end application can communicate. If at any point of time we see that you know, there is some other domain which is going to uh, communicate we can do something like my domain.com so which will allow laravel to understand that yes this is a whitelisted domain and i should have these headers and you know and allow the request to get the required data so yeah this is our first step of you know setting up laravel and vue.js and have the basic uh, http communication between those two applications in the next step, I will guide you through the process of um, setting up the authorization, the API authorization using Passport, which is a new thing with Laravel. Um, I use a you know use OAuth, get the access token using password grant type, and move ahead with our HTTP requests. So yeah, if you like the video, do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to share the video on 
सोशल नेटवर्किंग वेबसाइट्स थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग